everyone, greetings. Welcome everybody. So, this here is one of the, one of three. Um, what you might call it, um, parts of this, like, type of animation. I don't know, all of this background and whatnot is a flip a clip, um, template and whatnot. So, as you can see here, the only thing I'm actually going to be animating is this character that I have designed, which is a little king. He's a, <laughs> he's a very short, stubby king. Um, and so you can see here, I'm starting to animate a little bit of the timing right when um, these jelly things squish down so that I can get the timing right of whenever he falls to whenever he lands. So I did that first and then later animated him doing whatever up on the pedestal. And I'm going back here and adding in the motion of the arms and how, and the legs and how they'll just be flailing up and behind him because they are like a secondary animation uh, from the body. Because uh, whatever the body is doing, the arms and legs are being affected by it. So you can see here, he's tripping. That's what this giant weird step is. He tripped off the pedestal so his arms are flailing to uh, catch his balance, but he never did because he just ran off the cliff um, and whatnot. So this was a lot of uh, back and forth with this character of making sure it looked good and moving on and then going back and adding details um, here. <laughs> uh, I've been watching way too much YouTube. So I, I made him do like that, t that classic uh, Peter Griffin death. Like I think whenever he fell on the stairs or something, but he just have his back um, to the camera, his arm like folded over his back and his legs crossed and whatnot, which is a pretty iconic uh, death scene. Here, I had a bit of a hard time timing this fall because falls are meant to happen fast um, and whatnot and for him to pick up speed but since there was so much time in between these two it was a little hard to um, get it to where he would just fall and compress it and whatnot but in the end I think it it came out well and then later I realized he had a cape so this was also a secondary animation of just having this thing flail around um, with him being tossed and even had it to where it would like fold over his head comedically. And whenever he'd land, I would have the um, cape settle by itself. So like the body would drop like a sack of potatoes and then the cape would rock to steady and whatnot. Um, so as you kind of saw, there is a model sheet of my character design. I had drew, I had drawn him in flip a clip with the, like the pixel uh, brush. This is what I'm currently using, um, and then printed him out so that I can like get a good picture of what he looks like. And from there, I grabbed um, colors off of that sheet and I'm using it on this character and whatnot. Um, this character, he was inspired by Wreck-It Ralph, the first movie, um, more of the girl because she had a very interesting story of like her glitching out and causing in the wrong times and causing her problems and whatnot. Um, so this was a, that idea was inspired to make this character, which he has like a second 
personality, I guess, an evil king that's making him glitch out and whatnot. Uh, so, whenever he's just doing his little like fighter motion of just rocking back and forth, he glitches out. And then on the pedestal, whenever he's going to walk off of it, but trips, so that's what causes him to fall, um, he would glitch out a little bit. And I want to make a story later on with this character in more detail, with this kind of like, um, I definitely wanted to do some form of an arcade style with this. Uh, cause I <laughs> w went animating this and, um, doing like the rough sketches. I did not realize how much I enjoyed animating capes and just like the, um, also like the slapstick humor of having him flail around and whatnot. I think I discovered that whenever I made the, that one animation test of having like a superhero jump up and then have his head like crash through the ceiling and then fall down uh it was it was a super rough sketch by the way uh so it's just it it cracked me up making that why not this process that i did with making this character was probably the longest um because I couldn't just like make an outline and then color them inside later. It was like all the outlines was a different shade of color. So I had to first block them in and then outline them. Which thankfully the character did stay roughly on model the entire time when it came to the rough sketch. So that part was easy of just tracing and tracing and tracing and whatnot. So I will definitely keep that in, in mind whenever I do the other two um, sections, I guess, of this and um, making sure that the rough animation is on point before going to the final. But the color scheme and how it did come out was very nice. I was very happy with how it came out and whatnot. <laughs>